now that you're doing your shoot, you've got your frame, you've got your focus, you've got everything set up, let's talk about something a little bit extra, something a little bit more special. Probably you won't do this, but you could do it, and that is multiple cameras. How can you shoot a video with more than one camera? I'm in a studio filming this right now, and you can see I have multiple cameras. I have my desktop capture, that's kind of a camera. The camera filming me is a camera. Then of course we also have the computer I'm using. We have another camera shooting there. We also have my um, hardware ca desk camera, the hardware table camera. We also have this camera here where I'm looking at you through a fisheye lens, right? We also have some ceiling cameras that are looking down on the whole room. So we have a number of cameras here and we're recording everything at the same time. Well, in this case, a studio setup is a little bit complicated and of course very expensive. And I can change my inputs so I can grab one camera, one camera, one camera at a time. But if you're shooting a video, how can you keep costs low and have multiple cameras? Well, one way is simple. You could just have multiple cameras on tripods or people helping you. One person could be using the iPhone, you know, using their phone. Another person could be using an SLR camera. Another person could be using a handy cam and they could be shooting from three locations at once. Then when it's all done, you take those files back and put them on your computer and now you can edit it together. The only bad part of that is it's very time consuming, very tiresome because you need to put all three in and maybe one wasn't perfect and you need to think about how to cut it together. That can be uh, pretty tough, pretty hard, but you can do it. In the studio, it's a little bit easier because I don't need to do the editing and change it back and forth. I can just cut live and have different angles coming out just like that, you see, by pushing a button. So that's easy in a studio. I don't need to edit it later. There is another way you can do it. I'm going to show you in a second with some hardware. What are the advantages of having multiple cameras? Well, you can film someone. You can videotape someone just one time, but then you have two different angles, which could be very interesting. One very useful thing you can use this for is when two people are talking. So one camera is facing this way, and another camera is facing this way. So person A and person B. And you shoot the video at the same time, and they just talk. Then you take those two files and you edit them back and forth. Person A talking, person B talking, person A talking, person B talking. That's with two cameras. Of course, you can do the same with one camera, but what do you do? You put the camera here, filming person A, and we talk. Then you move the camera, and then we talk again, filming person B. So that takes more time, doesn't it? So by having multiple cameras, you can save time. But you need to have two camera people, you need to have, set it up perfectly, and then you need to edit it perfectly. So maybe you would prefer to shoot two people talking just one farther away, a medium shot, rather than over the shoulder. You can do that too with one camera. So there are many approaches you can do. But I want to encourage you, go ahead and try to use multiple cameras. You can use your phone, you can use a camera, you can use a GoPro. You can have these cameras all shooting at the same time, which can be pretty cool. All right, let's go over to the hardware table. Here we are at the hardware table. And so what's the hardware we're going to look at today is how do you maybe get multiple cameras into your video? How can you do that in an easier way than what I just mentioned? Well, there are machines that capture video. We're going to talk about things like this, desktop capture, a little bit later. So this is an Avermedia device, and it has 
uh, some plugs that you can use. And these plugs can plug into your video out from your camera. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Make sure my focus is good. There we go, that looks nice. Yeah. So this is a gamer box, I think. And you can actually have your video in coming through RCA jacks like this, for example. Or you could have them coming in through HDMI jacks like this, right? You could have HDMI out of your camera and HDMI goes into this machine and it can capture it. Or this is a capture card that goes into a computer and this uses what's called Firewire. Many cameras use Firewire from years ago. I think beginning about, ooh, Boy, it must be almost 20 years now. Cameras started having this fire wire and only recently did they stop having this. Nowadays they all use HDMI out. But this actually hooks into a camera. So let me show you. This is called fire wire. And this camera here has a connector at the back where this fire wire wire hooks in, like that. And then this end here can go into this capture card, which I bought online very cheaply in Taiwan. And this is a PCMA CIA card, and this goes into a computer slot. This computer has a PCM CIA slot right here. Hard to see in that the light is all black, right? There it goes. There you can see it right there. Your little door. Okay, so that slides right in there like that. There we go. Lots of computers before had PCMA CIA slots. Many, many computers. Today, that's very rare. They don't come with that slot anymore. They have a, if they have any slot, it's a different kind of slot. They don't have slots usually at all these days. But what's my point? My point is you can get an older computer like this, older actually, and you could use it to capture your video. This computer is, oh boy, this one's got to be from maybe 2008, maybe, something like this. Is a, it might be even earlier than that. It might be like 2005. My goodness, actually. It's an IBM. It's not even Lenovo. It's before Lenovo changed the name to Lenovo when it was still IBM. So it's got to be like 2005, maybe. But this machine works great for capturing video. And so let me follow up a little bit now. So I've got my capture card. I can put that in there. And you can still buy those online cheap. In fact, we have four. Oh, three, actually. This one has three. I miscounted three. One, two, three. I could have three cameras coming into this computer all at once, three camera inputs. And remember, I showed you this older camera and it has FireWire, even though it's an older camera, right? This camera is from like 1997. So cameras from 97 up until probably 2010 all had FireWire. If they were like a little bit better model, not your consumer model, but a little bit better. And nowadays you can buy these so cheap. So you could get something like this with FireWire. You could buy two of those cameras, or three of those cameras. You could have them coming into your computer. And then on your computer, you have software that can capture three images at once. And then you just push a button, just like I was doing here. You push a button to go between cameras, switch cameras, right? You got the camera over there, hello. And that camera over there. We got our top cameras up here, right? How am I doing that? Because I have multiple cameras going into a computer. That saves a lot of editing because you don't need to edit. Of course, if you do that, you probably need to be inside of a room because you need to plug everything in. You need to have the computer set up and running a program. A little bit harder to do if you go outside because you have to have a long extension cord to run your PC. But that is a pretty cool idea and saves you a lot of trouble. So good luck with multiple cameras.